Hi again. Here we are to talk about our table view and our detail view. In the last video, we added the detail view and we included the, the navigation controller. Um, we need to do a, a couple more things with our detail view, okay? By default, when we create a project, um, it comes with one view controller and that view controller comes with a view controller file to control, you know, or set, put all the code into the view so we can control the view, right? We've just created a new view here, and this view will need a view controller file also. So what we're gonna do is um, go to the file menu and choose new file, or you can just do command N. And we're in, in the chooser here, we're gonna choose iOS Cocoa Touch class. Okay, so every view controller should be a subclass of UI view controller. So make sure the subclass field says UI view controller. And then the class name up here, we can name it anything you like. I'm going to call mine details view controller. Okay. And by convention, um, uh, class files all begin with an uppercase name. So I'll, I'll use an uppercase D here. And then we can click next. And then, you know, you can click create to save your file or you can navigate to a folder where you want to keep the file, right? Keep it in your project folder though, okay? So anyway, here's our detail view controller file, so that's good. So now just creating this doesn't really do a lot. It just adds one to our project. It doesn't really, you know, connect it to the project in any way. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to storyboard. I'll find the detail view controller that we just created, which is this one, right? And you can click on the little yellow thing here to select it. Go to the sidebar here to the property inspector and then switch to the identity inspector, which is the little newspaper. And there's a, there's a, it should say custom class and there's a class field here. And what you want to do is you want to type in details view controller. Okay. And then hit return just to make sure it recognizes that. So now this details view controller file is associated with this view okay so let's test that um, when we go from from the table view view to the details view we want to display the data from the cell in a label here in this detail view so what we'll do is we'll drag a label in there I'm gonna grab a label and drag it in here and then what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make it a little bit bigger it's kinda small and I'll go to the property inspector here. I'll make it center aligned. And then I'll make the font a little bigger like this. And you can see my, my text is getting cropped because the size of the label is not as big as the type. So what I'll do is I'll do command equal and that'll resize the label to the, to the size of the, you know, or the, the outline here to the size of the text, right? Okay, um, drag this and kind of snap it to the center line. Okay, make sure that center line appears. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a constraint to kind of fill it or keep it in the in the center of the screen there. Okay, and so I'll select the label, click on the second one here, the um, the align menu. Okay, and what I want to do is choose horizontal center in container and then we can add one constraint. And so that's not quite enough to position this guy, so the constraints show up in red. So the next thing is I'm gonna to go to the pin menu, the third one here, and choose the, a constraint on the top. So essentially what I'm saying is this guy should keep this distance from the top edge, okay? And then sh that should be enough to, to position our label, okay? Okay, so that's pretty good. Let's do one more thing to make sure that this is set up correctly. So now what we'll do is we'll kind of follow the step that we took with the first view controller by option clicking on the detail view controller Swift file here in the, um, the project outline. And that should open the detail view Swift, contro Swift view controller in the assistant editor over here. Okay, so this should say, you know, detail view controller, and then I should be able to see my view controller here in storyboard. And you might have to, you know, scroll the window a little bit to get to it. Okay, so now we're all set. So here's class, detail view controller, colon, UI view controller, 
curly brace, right? And then it's got view did load, just like our last view controller. So what we'll do is we'll do the same thing we did before. We got to add a little bit of space here between view did load and you know this this class declaration there, right? And um, we need to add a little bit of space there. And then what we're going to do is we're going to create an IB outlet for the label, so that this this um, detail view controller has a reference to the label. Okay, so what I'll do is I'll, I'll go over here and you can use the outline view to help you out again. So um, it's a little hard to see all this on my screen, but um, you know, if, you, if I look here, you can see my label there in the outline view, or you can, you can right click and drag from the label into here like this, or if you like, you can right click on the label in the outline view and drag into details view. If it doesn't allow you to create a new outlet here, then you didn't set the, um, the view controller over here in the the um, the custom as of the custom class for that view. Okay, so um, so let's close that and let's set up the the, the outlet here. So I'll, I'll click here. I'll drag in, and um, we'll call this guy um, title label. How about that, right? So no spaces in the name, right? I'll just type it title label like that. And then what should happen is I should see IB outlet week var title label colon is a UI label. Okay, and then we know that everything is working. This should be UI label because that's what our label was. If it says something else, then we clicked on the wrong thing here and we should undo this and, and go back, right? So anyway, so that's pretty good there. Um, and I think we're all set.